once you've connected with a customer, the next phase is you need to discover. You see, discovery is the part where you actually uncover how your customers' needs and values can be aligned with the value proposition that you offer. So in other words, your products and services. How do your products and services actually serve your customer? Because you can't, you, you can't know that. You see, what do we generally do in sales conversations? We go to a sales meeting and we as the sales professional spend, and research shows, sales professionals speak almost 83% of the time. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. You can't be speaking 83% of the time and learning how to align your value proposition with what your customers actually need. The only way that you can figure out exactly how to align your value proposition with their needs, their values, their requirements is to ask enough meaningful questions. So realistically, and I ask this question every time I do a sales training session, I ask the guys and I say, how much time do you think you should spend speaking and how much time do you think your customers should spend speaking? And realistically, I've heard numbers as far as the customer should speak 90% of the time and I should speak 10% of the time. Well, I believe it's about 20% you as the sales professional and 80% the customer. So we kind of got to turn that conversation around, right? At the moment, it's 83% the salesperson and it's very, very, very little. 17% is the customer. And so we need to figure out how to reverse that. The way to reverse that is what? By asking meaningful open-ended questions, right? So open-ended questions, how do they start? Well, the easiest way for me is to use this little acronym, right? Why, 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 ha. So it's three W's and an H. So it's what, which, why, and how. And that's how you start open-ended questions. And when you're asking the right open-ended questions and you connect those and you actually make them and turn them into linchpin questions, then what you're effectively doing is now you're discovering exactly what your customer needs. In other words, do they need safety? Or should I rather say, do they expect safety to be the prominent feature that your or benefit that your product's going to offer? Or do they want it to be performance? As I described in that previous example of the person walking into the car sales dealership. So you want to be answering this question all the time. What is it that your customers really, really need? And that's what you're trying to uncover with your discovery questions. You can take it one level deeper and it's, you take it to a, a level, see that's open-ended questions, and then you go down to what I refer to as open-up questions. That's where you dig a little bit deeper. So you find out a little bit of information, you, you start to think, okay, great, I'm sort of understanding that you're wanting to hear about the safety features of this or the safety benefits of this product but let me dig a little bit deeper and that's where you use you use something called TED and TED stands for it's another acronym that stands for the T stands for tell me more the E stands for explain and the D is describe so what we're effectively doing is we asking those open-ended questions and then we are digging a little bit deeper and as we dig a little bit deeper we ask tell me more explain what that process is all about or describe in more detail what your expectations are and that way we really get to dig down to a deep level and we have a crystal clear understanding of exactly how this whole process comes together in other words we have completely discovered how our value proposition is aligned with, our, with what our customers needs and expectations are <music>